If somebody winds up being lucky enough, Peter, to actually book a contract role on a daytime show, how long can you expect to survive as a contract player if you don't have the ability to memorize your lines every day that you have to shoot? That's a good question. It depends on how valuable to the show you are. But I mean, if you come in as a new actor and you can't, you can't figure out whatever tricks you need to know to get through, because that's what you do. You develop a certain you know, set of, of tricks. You know, and, and it's a muscle like anything else. You know, the more you exercise it, the, more, uh, the better you become at it. Uh, having said that, I, I, I'm trying to think if I've known any principles that have ever been fired. But I, and let me answer your question specifically. I don't think you'd last very long anymore. I think in, in the old days, it was a little easier to get away with. They were a little more forgiving of having to do a scene two or three times because, you know, whomever couldn't learn their lines or at least was having trouble. Every actor has trouble. Uh, you know, some writers write long speeches. That's just the way they write. Uh, we tended to have that from time to time on passions. And again, it would depend on the specific script writer. You know, it's again, there's a head writer and then there are a zillion script writers. So it's, it's, there's so many different components that go into it. It's not like, a, you know, an episodic where the same writer, two or three writers are writing every show and it's written, you know, pretty much the same way. So um, long speeches are always hard, uh, but they'd be gone pretty quickly now.